Earlier on today, we took a look at Sammy Sanchez's BMC bike, and one thing that stood out to us was how incredibly hard the tyres were. So we thought we would ask the riders on the start line here at the Dubai Tour what pressure they're going to run in their tyres. Um, uh, if, um, uh, oh, oh. Well, I mean, I, luckily I have someone to pump up my tyres for me, so I don't know, but... What would you demand? If, if, it, was, if it was my choice, um, Probably run like 100, 110 psi in the front, 100 top 15 in the back. Uh, 140 today. One, usually 140, 150 psi. That's that's high. Yeah, I always run a lot of pressure. I don't know. I, I just like the feeling of the the harder, like that that harder feeling on the tire and on the road. Uh, maybe I think uh, eight and. 8 and 10 kilos, uh, more or less, of uh, bars, yeah. Because we just tried it, it was very, very hard. Yeah, for today it's important the pressure, only high pressure, but the, it's, today the, all of the stage is flat, and the pressure is very important, and the weather is good, it's no rain, the weather uh, is 25, 27 uh, maximum degrees, and 8 and 10 k is perfect. Um, it's a good nine bars. I, I'm not entirely sure how many psi that is, but uh, yeah, good nine bars. Uh, probably, well, I don't know whatever actually the mechanics put in. I trust him, so we'll find out. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think um, nine or ten. Oh, quite hard then. Yes, but uh, yeah, it is a good road, and uh, then uh, it's better to uh, a lot of pressure in your uh, tires. Uh, I think they put it at eight, eight and a half, eight bar, and then in the final it will be around eight. I think they drop a little bit in the final because it's quite hot. So normally eight. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is a good question. I think uh, we have nine, ten. Quite hard then. Yeah, or more. I don't, I don't know. I'm not mechanic. <laughs> I'm not, not care about. You leave it to the mechanics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm believe to mechanics. <laughs> Pretty high. I think it's around nine bar. So I don't know how many psi actually. Uh, flat race, uh, really fast, good asphalt, good, good uh, surface to rolling, so we can keep it really strong. I think uh, eight, eight and a half kilo. Here it's pretty hard. It's totally different than in uh, in Belgium or in Flanders. The roads are very good here, and uh, there's no danger of, uh, of flat tires. Today, uh, a bit higher than what I normally ride. It's probably about eight bar, but my preferred pressure is about like seven in the front and seven point two in the back. Uh, I think it's about one thirty, one forty. Wow, that's pretty hard. Yeah, just on the roads here with uh, a lot of potholes and stones and stuff, so we run a little bit harder and trying to avoid punctures. I think it's around uh, seven point five, uh, eight bar. Uh, I think somewhere between eight and nine kilograms. I think eight, uh, nine, nine kilograms here. I think there's like bar in there. Uh, today I use uh, for the first time this with model wheels is uh, with the clean shell. Oh. Uh, 26. Uh, 26. Yeah. And what, what, what pressure? 8.5. 8.5? Yes. Okay. So a wide range of answers. Some riders have their tyres very hard, some not quite so much, and others have no idea at all what pressure they're running. Now, it's not quite so much of a consideration and importance here in Dubai where the roads are extremely smooth and you can afford to have very high pressures. But in races like Paris-Roubaix with the cobblestones, it's much more of an issue. And the one thing to remember, as one of the pros pointed out, is that the tubular tyres do lose pressure reasonably quickly over the course of a race. So, for example, at Paris Bay, they will have their tyres harder at the start than they actually want them for the cobbles, but by the time they get there, they should be on exactly the right pressure. Now, if you would like to see how to glue some tubular tyres onto wheels yourself, uh, Cy Richardson shows you how to do that. You can find the video just up there. On the other hand, if you would like an entire playlist of Ask the Pros from the start lines of some very big races, you can find that just down there. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. It's the, it's the one in the middle somewhere.